work until Blue Star. Blue Star worked great on my ringworm without steroids. My wife and I have been using Blue Star for years. It's never let us down. Look for the white box with the Blue Star in the first aid section. Feel Blue Star work fast or your money back. People are buying his art because of the name that's attached to it. Because at cocktail parties, you can be like, oh, remember President Biden's son that was into cocaine and then uh, hooked up with his dead brother's wife? This is his artwork. Yeah, this is cool. I had $80,000 to blow on a Hunter Biden straw paint piece. <laughs> Gary and Shannon. Let's do blow and look at it. Weekdays at 10 a.m. on KFI. AM640 Live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Welcome to a Friday. The weekend has finally arrived. I'm Jennifer Jones Lee, and some of the stories we're watching in the KFI 24 hour newsroom. LA County Health Director says while cases of COVID 19 remain high, the rate of new cases seems to be leveling out, and unemployment claims are up again across California. The Labor Department says there were more than 65,000 unemployment claims filed last week. 535, we'll talk with KFI's house whisperer, Dean Sharp, who I will affectionately refer to this morning as our little stoner. Because today's topic is all about stone slabs. And uh, apparently there's like a whole new playbook when it comes to how you deal with stone slabs. So maybe you're putting in new countertops, or maybe you're putting in a new kitchen island, or a table even. And Dean's going to explain all that. Right now, though, let's bring the music up for a second. There's a reason here. All right, all together now, including you, Jack. Jack Hickerman is here this morning, Vice President of the Community Engagement at Pasadena Humane Society. The reason we are playing this song is because I asked Jack... Jack, what are your favorite songs? And there's a reason, because it's his birthday. Happy birthday, Jack Hagerman. Thank you. Thank you. I can't think of a better way to start my birthday than talking to you. And Paula Abdul. And Paula Abdul. Well, she's my spirit animal. You know, she, she kind of just doesn't really know what's going on, but she's fun and goofy. That's oh. like me, described in a nutshell. So... <laughs> I have to admit, I was watching a Lifetime movie, there's no shame in my game, I will tell you this story, yesterday, and she was in it playing a cop who liked Pez and liked candy, and I mean, it, so just what you described, yeah, goofy, it, 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 it really does. <laughs> All right, so Jack, this morning, I have you on because I want to talk about the story that Deborah Mark filed this week on pandemic pet regret. And the thing is, I don't want us to be, I don't want people who are listening right now to think, oh my God, I'm one of those people, they're going to be judgy with me, or they're going to, you know, look down on me. That's not the point of this. I would just want, I knew that you would have some insight as to maybe resources or some tips or something like that that people could use if they are somebody who's like, oh my God, I adopted Fido or Fluffy, but now I got to go back to work and I don't know how to take care of them. Right. Yeah, well, I think we kind of have to reframe it as not regret. You know, it, it, it's more just sort of this a panic all of a sudden that we're like, oh, wow, our circumstances are changing and my pet's not used to this routine. I'm not used to this routine. How do I do it? How do I manage through that, right? And, and so I think what's important is taking it slow with, with your pet. So if you know you're going to have to sort of shift up the routine and that's going to disrupt the overall household, dogs are particularly dogs, are very routine-oriented, right? So yeah. if you have to introduce a new routine, take it just one step at a time. Introduce one change sort of slowly, right? And you want to start building up to time away from the house. So, you know, if you've been used to being at home all the time, start taking some breaks. Go for a walk around the block uh, alone just to start giving your pet some alone time so that they get used to what that feels like, right? And make sure that they have lots of enrichment around them because the reason that pets generally tend to be destructive is not so much because they're separated from you, but that they're bored. So if you can mitigate boredom, you're going to have much more uh, success with being away from the home longer. So, you know, make sure that you've got food puzzles, um, you know, scratch pad for cats, calm toys are great for dogs, um, tub toys. 
Um, an egg carton actually works great for cats. You can see an egg hours carton? Of, yeah, an egg carton works great for cats. They love them. I don't know why, but, um, you know, so you just want to give them stuff to keep them from getting bored. Um, but they, you know, they're pretty adaptable. They'll, they'll adapt with you as long as you take the changes slowly. What, um, when people are going on these walks, I know that at least during the pandemic, I found myself spending a lot more time with my animals, taking them all on walks a whole lot more. And honestly, Mm -hmm. there's there's a bit of separation anxiety for me as well. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, I get that. Well, and you know, because I take my dogs to work with me. But during the pandemic, I wasn't taking them with me because my partner was working from home. Oh, see, and so now he's back to work, and they're coming back to work with me, and so they're adjusting back to that routine that we've had to take that slow. But you know, we're a couple weeks in, and and they're now they're finally sort of into the groove, and that's kind of what I mean. Like they adapt, but sometimes they just need a little bit more time than we do, right? So just as long as you're aware of that, you don't have to be intimidated by by the changes coming, you just have to take it, you know, a little slower. Okay, when it comes to these services that will come and walk your dog, is this also a good idea if you think, man, my dog is just one that does have that separation anxiety and you've already identified it, should you maybe look into that? Yeah, absolutely. You know, before my partner was able to work at home and before I was bringing them to work, um, before I had a job where I was allowed to bring them to work, um, I had a pet sitter that would come in a couple of times a day just to take them for walks, spend a little time with them. And it really does kind of um, add some enrichment to, to have some human interaction. And it can be really reasonably priced. If you find somebody local that you trust, um, you know, it can be as little as, you know, $15 a day. Well, that's it. And I, I think that sometimes, you know, you'll see that person walking, you know, four or five dogs down the street and that kind of thing. So they're getting mm-hmm. paid by all of those pet parents. And so yeah. just like what you're saying, it's not that costly to do it if you're able to. And this, honestly, if you look at it this way, it's 15 bucks a day is a lot cheaper than replacing that pair of shoes or that pair of high heels that, you know, totally. might get destroyed, or, right? You know, maybe skip the, star- the Starbucks trip a couple of days a week, you know, like it's kind of, you know, it's, it's pretty easy to manage. Okay, funny you should mention that because yesterday morning I said those exact words. Skip your Starbucks this morning or skip your croissant this morning, whatever it is. I was asking people to donate $174 is all that I needed to get the wake-up call wigglers into second place in the Wiggle Waggle Walk. You're so competitive. I love it. Oh, my God. It's just like literally last night I checked it before bed. It was ridiculous. And I am so excited to tell you, not only did the KFI listeners hear me and pledge that $174, yesterday we were at $1,212. This morning we are at $2,003 and are exactly $1,000 behind first place. See, this is where your crazy competitive nature works in our favor. (laughs) (laughs) So for for somebody who hasn't donated yet, because a lot of people say, like, well, how do I know that my money is going? What's it going to? That kind of thing. Tell people why this is a great cause. Well, because every dollar that we we raise through the Wiggle Waggle Walk and Run is, it goes back to really critically important life-saving programs, our foster care program, our kitten nursery our uh, animal ICU, our wildlife rehabilitation program, our spay neuter programs, uh, adoption. Um, it, it goes to so many important life-saving programs that help us help the animals of our community. Um, and, I, and I can actually safely say that every dollar goes to that, right? Like, we keep our expenses really low. We're really creative with how we make this a fun event while keeping our costs down. So you can be pretty assured that every dollar that you're donating is going straight to an animal who needs that help. See, guys, I told you this is a great cause. So look at that. Jack is stronger than he was yesterday because it's his birthday. I love you, Jennifer. Love you. Happy birthday. Thank you for everything this morning. And for people who want to join the KFI Wake Up Call Wigglers on September 19th, for the Pasadena Humane Society's Wiggle Waggle Walk, all you got to do is go to KFIAM640.com, keyword wake up call. Right there, you'll see my husband and I in our crazy costumes that we wore last year. Just click on that. The link is right there. And if you can't join us 
That day, you can join us either virtually, do the walk virtually, or just donate. We would appreciate that as well. Whatever you got, KFIAM640.com, keyword wake up call. Love you, Jack. Happy birthday. Have a great Love vacation. You too. Thank you. See ya. Right. Bye bye. Bye. a minute we're going to go to KFI's house with Bird Dean Sharp who is uh, affectionately being referred to as our little stoner this morning because it's all about stone slabs and this just whole rule book you think working with wood is one thing oh working with stone completely different rules all right Dave Joseph is taking a look at our drive on the 101 South Front at Las Virgin is in Calabasas. Still have that crash in the center divider. Watch for slowing as you make your way through the scene. Montclair, the 10 eastbound between Monte Vista and Euclid. The two right lanes shut down for road work until 6 this morning. And in Ontario, the 60 eastbound between Euclid and Vineyard. The carpool and left lanes closed until 6 a.m. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Dave Joseph. Have you been wanting to give your home or apartment a fresh new look? Perhaps furnish an Airbnb? Or maybe you need help setting up your home office? Then come into Court Furniture Outlet today and discover why Court Furniture has been the secret destination for home stagers, designers, and savvy business professionals for over 40 years. You'll save on everything you need to brighten up your home or make your workplace more comfortable. And at Court Furniture Outlet, everything is in stock and ready for immediate delivery. New upholstery and several styles and colors, including sleepers sectionals with storage only $4.99. Conference tables and mesh back office chairs from $59. And bookcases for $49. Plus great deals on bedroom sets, mattresses, dining, and so much more. Let Court's friendly furniture consultants help you find everything you need to live and work in comfort and style. With locations in Glendale on Central, in Corona at the 91 and McKinley, and now Fountain Valley at Euclid and the 405. Or go to CourtFurnitureOutlet.com. That's C-O-R-T FurnitureOutlet.com. SoCal weather from KFI, sunny and warm today with highs low to mid-70s at the coast, mid-80s to low 90s for Orange County and the metro areas. We'll be in the mid-90s and low 100s for the valleys and the IE. Then more of the same tomorrow, a couple of degrees cooler on Sunday, but don't get used to it. We could see more triple-digit temps next week. We leave local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee. And from Blue Cross and Heart of America are helping schools across the country increase their access to healthy food. Learn more at anthem.com slash CA slash Sparks. Anthem Blue Cross is the trade name of Blue Cross of California. Masks are coming off, seasonal allergies are on the rise, and COVID-19 is still out there. Sneezing, runny nose, cough, and fever can be allergy symptoms. There are also symptoms of COVID-19. If you have symptoms, get tested and find out if it's COVID-19. COVID Clinic offers free COVID-19 testing for both insured or uninsured patients. Make an appointment today at covidclinic.org. COVID Clinic offers no out-of-pocket cost COVID-19 PCR diagnostic tests with lab results in one day for persons who qualify. Conditions may apply. Visit covidclinic.org for details. There are no limits to what we can do together. So let's keep rising, California. Get vaccinated and wear a mask when it can protect you and others. Your actions save lives. To learn more, visit COVID19.ca.gov. Call service champions for their $88 professional AC tune-up at 833-777-7777. Here's another iHeartRadio Music Festival trip winner. Hi, I'm Ryan. I just won a trip to the iHeartRadio Music Festival in Las Vegas and $1,000 just for listening to KFI. Thanks so much. Keep listening for your next chance to win a trip to our iHeartRadio Music Festival. KFI, AM 640. Oh, that's awesome. More stimulating talk. Oh, man. Hey y'all, it's Dean Sharp. Uh, today's Wake Up Call House Whisper segment brought to you by Duffy Power. Go to DuffyPower.com and never suffer through another power outage again. DuffyPower.com. DuffyPower.com. by 
Friday, AM 640 Live Everywhere on the iHeartRadio app on your Friday morning. Glad you're here to start the weekend with me. I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee, and some of the stories we're watching in the KFI 24-hour newsroom. A brush fire in the Angeles National Forest has burned about 50 acres and is 45% contained. The fire was started by a burning car near Mount Baldy on Tuesday. Firefighting helicopters were used to help fire crews on the ground douse those hot spots. And California regulators have shut down one of the state's biggest hydroelectric power plants because there's not enough water to run it. The plant at the Oroville Dam Reservoir in Northern California was taken offline yesterday because the water dropped to its lowest level ever. Coming up at 5.50, we'll talk with ABC's Jim Ryan. And this is crazy to say, but we're going to wrap up the Olympics. The Olympics are actually coming to an end. But that music you just heard means it's time to say good morning to KFI's house whisperer, Dean Sharp whose wife has described him as the man whose muscles are as rock hard as the slabs of stone he works with. What? She texted me last night. No, she did not. You don't know that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I do know that. (laughs) You can follow Dean on social media, at home with Dean, or listen to him tomorrow morning, 6 to 8, and Sunday morning, 9 to 11. I suggest you both. Hi, Dean. Good morning. Good morning, Jen. All right, so let's talk stone Slabs, which you say is a completely different ball game than, say, if you're working with uh, wood or you're working with tile or you're working with whatever other thing. That's true. Uh, slabs of stone uh, in your home. That is Saturday's uh, show topic. We've been, uh, you know, having stone in our home in that form ever since the 70s for most mainstream folks. So before then, it was truly just a luxury material. In fact, it's one of Stone slabs in your home is kind of a democratized material for us here at the end of the 20th century uh, because it marked one of those real luxury materials that crossed over to mainstream homes. It started, you know, about mid-70s, granite slabs uh, started showing up as countertops, right? Uh, And uh, and so it replaced ceramic tile from the 40s and the 50s. Formica, thank God, it replaced (laughs) Formica. Yes. So the the uh, the so-called wonder material, space age wonder material of the 1960s. So all of a sudden we were back to some real natural stuff, and it was granite, granite, granite everywhere. And uh, I think we've all kind of come to expect that. Oh, granite countertops in the kitchen, that kind of thing. Although uh, these days granite is quickly being replaced by quartz. Quartz uh, being a, uh, a a catchphrase. For a nickname for a synthetic, a man-made material, uh, you know, we first came on the market uh, with names like Corian and things like that, but now we just call it quartz because it's made from various resins and a mixture of stone aggregates or basically stone dust, and it's a really high-performing countertop. But despite all of that, most people know very little about their uh, stone slabs either how to take care of them, or even how they're made and how they integrate into things like cabinets in their house. Okay, so before we get to that part, I want to go back to the granite versus quartz. If you're somebody who's thinking about, oh, I wanted to replace my countertop, and, uh, you know, hey, I just moved, uh, when I moved into a duplex here five years ago in uh, Glendora, it had Formica on it, and I was like, oh, my God, I moved back to 1960. But, uh, so for somebody who maybe does still have that in their house, um, and you want to put in granite versus quartz, what's the cost difference? What's the resale value difference? I mean, if you're thinking about, oh, I'm doing it to, you know, sell this place, um, is somebody going to walk in and is a realtor going to say, ooh, it's granite or ooh, it's quartz? Yeah, not so much anymore. Uh, in fact, the cost of between the two really depends on the stone and the countertop. Most people might think, oh, well, you know, quartz, a man-made material, that's going to be less expensive. Nope. No, about uh, the same on average per square foot. So the real key is that uh, you got to get out to a stone yard and you got to open your eyes to the world of stone because there are uh, a gabillion different types of stone, colors, patterns, uh, so on. The only thing, I I have nothing against quartz. It's it's up and coming. Uh, It's a great performing material, uh, but... If you were to listen to the people who promote quartz, in fact, here's a quote. Here's a quote from a, a web article uh, that I was reading this week, and it's so typical of, uh, of quartz advertisement. It says, Today's quartz countertops are the ultimate in style and function. With a wide range of colors that range from polished ebony to a Carrera marble look, 
with delicate veining. You'll never again need to sacrifice beauty for ease of care. And I just say, you know, the person who said this is either just pushing quartz really hard or has never been to a real stone yard. Because there are still, to this day, some pretty big differences between quartz and the looks that they are trying to emulate and the natural stone that they are uh, that they're attempting to copy because you know what natural stone is gorgeous. gorgeous where do you find a stone yard well we are surrounded by stone yards in southern california the san fernando valley in fact the uh, the north hollywood area of the san fernando valley is stone central for all of southern california really? sometimes for all of california in general there are literally hundreds of stone yards all around southern california I would recommend, and they are not a sponsor of the show, but for your first time, dipping your toe in, uh, that you go to a place like Walker Zanger in Van Nuys, over next to the Van Nuys Airport. Uh, I still take clients there who have never really initiated themselves into the world of stone because it's a beautiful, uh, beautiful stone warehouse, and uh, all of the slabs are laid out and set up in a way that's easy to view and understand. But here's the thing. If you've never been to a stone yard, I, I guarantee you this, your jaw is going to drop. Uh, really? Most people do not realize the kind of beauty that the earth has been putting out for a long, long time. And, I, you know, most people think, well, what, I'm going to go see that white marble stuff and maybe some brown granite. No, no. Everything from uh, reds to deep sea blues to, I mean, just, just stunning stuff just jaw droppingly stunning stuff and the point is open your mind to what kind of stone can really make your kitchen or your bathroom or wherever you're using this slab can really make it pop really make it unique because everything including quartz has uh its strengths and has kind of its achilles heel so there is no product out there on the market that is just ultimately the uh, you know the one thing that has all of the facets that we're all looking for, which is okay, can't be scratched, won't stain, won't etch, uh, you know, it is rock hard, and you know that's, that's a pun, but there are different hardnesses of various stones, uh, and so everything is is still has its weakness. Even quartz, which is non-porous, great, doesn't need sealing, that's fantastic, Re resists most stains. It's still uh, something that can be etched if you pour bleach or an acid or spill a bleach or an acid on it. Uh, it's still vulnerable to heat. You should not take your pot right off of the stove and set it on your quartz countertop. You can still leave a heat ring there. So there are still sensitivity. Everything has its weakness. Probably the most invulnerable material out there is soapstone. But soapstone has its weakness too. Soapstone is a pretty soft stone and it's almost inevitably always a very very dark color in fact most of the time it's black i have soapstone on our mm -hmm. island which we love because it goes with it and i just love the fact that it is non-porous this is a natural stone uh the most non-porous of all stones uh no ceiling resists all stains you can put a you know molten iron on top of it and it will not burn it cannot be etched with acid you remember those uh Black countertops in lab class and chemistry oh, yeah, class sure, in school. Sure. Soapstone. That's the reason why. Because uh, uh, because they just but they can be scratched fairly easily. So you have you know so everything. The point is everything has kind of its Achilles heel. You've got to decide which weakness you're okay with, and uh, and then open yourself to the world of colors and patterns and stuff. Okay, so honestly, this is the weirdest thing, but you've kind of sold me on a field trip just to a stone yard so that I can see what's out there. Oh, it'll intrigued. change your life. It's like going out to nature and seeing some just some of the most dramatic things ever. It that will. Is so it, it is a life-changing experience. Okay, I stopped you earlier when you were talking about the countertop compared to your cabinet. How do you work those two things, and how do you sort of meld them together? Well, I mean, as far as uh, choosing a design, you want to know kind of what your cabinets are going to be, and then hopefully take a sample of your cabinets. Take a cabinet door with you uh, once you've picked on your design. Take a sample of the door with you to the stone yard and just start matching things up. Really, really important, especially if you're going with a light theme. 
because, uh, you know, if you've got a nice, bright white cabinet, white cabinets are very popular these days for good reason, uh, one of the things that disappoints people a lot is yeah, they go to the stoneyard, maybe they're looking for a nice white Carrera marble, something like that. Uh, they pick one, and then when the marble actually shows up on their countertop, it looks dim and dull and kind of dirty looking, because very few white in a stone is white enough to match the white of your cabinet. And so as a result, you put one white next to another white, one of them is going to look dingy. And you don't want that to be your very expensive, beautiful marble counter. Dean, I love our chat. Seriously, you have made me want to go to a stoneyard. It's a date. Like, let's okay, do it. Let's do it. All right, I'll meet you there. You and your rock-hard muscles that your wife told me about. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Dean, you're the best. Okay, tomorrow morning, 6 to 8, Sunday, 9 to 11. I'll talk to you again next week. Thanks, Jen. Bye, see ya. KFI South Whisperer and Dean Sharp. Follow them on social media at home with Dean. And again, if you, that um, stone yard he mentioned, Walker Zanger Stone Yard. So there you go. Field trip for you this weekend. Maybe I'll see you there. All right, we come back. We're going to talk Olympics with ABC's Jim Ryan. And I'll just say, here's my spoiler alert without spoiling anything. There's lots of gold in Jim's report. Eh? It's good. Let's get back to that crash on the 101. Up on Atlas Virgin is Road, a solo vehicle crash that appears to still be in the center divider. Watch for some activities to make your way through the scene. Industry, new problem on the 60 westbound at Azusa Avenue. A crash there is off to the right shoulder. And in Corona, some Caltrans work for the next few minutes on the 91 eastbound between Main Street and McKinley. The three right lanes remain closed. That, again, is in effect until 6 a.m. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Dave Joseph. This report is sponsored by Mercury Insurance. Download the DraftKings app and use code SPORTS to get a free shot and millions of dollars up for grabs this week with your first deposit. Minimum $5 deposit required. Eligibility restrictions apply to DraftKings.com for detail. This is Chris Collinsworth. Here's what's trending on the iHeart Sports Network, presented by DraftKings. LeBron James is producing a new Netflix drama called Red Ball. The story follows a high school Native American basketball team based out of Chuska, New Mexico. Major League Baseball is extending Trevor Bowers administrative leave for a fourth time. The Dodgers starter is under investigation for alleged domestic violence. He denied all allegations. And USA Women's Basketball blew out Serbia, clinching a spot in a gold medal game in Tokyo. I'm Missy Jordan. Here's a quick tip to save some cash. Switch to Mercury Insurance. Californians save an average of $677 with Mercury. The sooner you switch, the sooner you'll save. Get a fast free quote today at mercuryinsurance.com. That's mercuryinsurance.com. Hey, all it's Dean. Before I leave this morning, ever since Duffy Power, the generator people, uh, became a sponsor here at KFI, I've been getting a lot of questions about how home backup generators work. So here goes. Once Duffy evaluates their home, they're going to hook you up with the perfect generator to meet all of its needs. Then, when the next outage occurs, you do nothing. While everybody around you loses power, your generator automatically takes over and, well, life continues uninterrupted. When the power comes back on, the generator knows it, turns itself off. It's just that easy. What's also easy is things like 0% interest financing, payments as low as $72 a month, which makes emergency power totally affordable. Now, as you know, the pandemic has everything in short supply right now, so don't wait. Call today, and Duffy is going to make sure your life, your comfort, your safety won't be interrupted during the next outage or any of the ones after that ever. Dial pound 250 on your cell and say Duffy Power. It's just that easy. Pound 250, Duffy Power. Or find Duffy on the web at DuffyPower.com. That's D-U-T-H-I-E Power. Com. Summer fun rolls on at San Manuel Casino. Every Thursday in August, San Manuel is giving away a 2021 Maserati Ghibli Trofeo or up to $100,000 in cash. That's right, you could drive away in a new car or cash each week. Earn entries using your Club Serrano card each time you play and you could be one of our lucky grand prize winners. Catch the thrills all month long at SoCal's number one casino, San Manuel. Details at SanManuel.com. Must be 21. Please gamble responsibly. At Ralph's, from
fresh groceries are our thing. So we check your delivery order for freshness at every step from farm to store. And pick and pack every veggie in your free pickup order with care. Because we treat your food the way we want ours to be treated. We're fresh every day, so shop anyway. Ralph. Fresh for everyone. Free pickup on orders of $35 or more. Restrictions may apply. Get more ways to save at the Buy 5 or More Save $1 each sale. Just buy 5 or more participating items and save $1 each with card. Ralph's. Fresh for everyone. Attorney Joe Cordell. For many men, divorce brings a bewildering sense of loss. You feel adrift, isolated, like you're the only person in the world. But the good news is, you're not alone. Cordell and Cordell is here to help. For more than 30 years, Cordell and Cordell has been there to guide men through all aspects of divorce. And we'll be there for you. Schedule an appointment with one of Cordell and Cordell's California area attorneys. 1455 Crazy Road, Suite 500, San Diego, California, 92108. CordellCordell.com. Great. Subject to change without notice. Minimum loan amount requirements apply. 50% loan to value and 740 FICO credit score. Certain restrictions apply. Subject to credit approval. NMLS 3290. Loans made or arranged pursuant to a California finance lender's law license. Number 6036970. Equal housing lender. Unbelievable. Home loan rates have dropped again at Intel alone. Today, Intel alone is offering a 1.875% rate in the APR with no points and no lender fees. Did you hear that? A 1.875%. Don't think you qualify? I bet you haven't called Intel alone. You don't have to have perfect credit to get this great home loan. So lock in this unbelievably low 1.875% fixed rate in APR with no points and no lender fees. So call Intel alone before the rates go up. Call them at 1-800-918-6200. That's 1-800-918-6200. Or just go to IntelAlone.com. Intel alone. Borrow smart. Well, according to research, 82% of people remember radio ads. So, 82% of you listening will remember that this is an ad for ZipRecruiter. 82% of you will note that if you're hiring, ZipRecruiter finds qualified people for your job. In fact, 4 out of 5 employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. And 82% of you will remember that you can try ZipRecruiter for free. But, you have to go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free. Yes, free. Again, that's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. If you're a man aged 45 to 80 with a history of heart disease or stroke, please listen closely to this message. Some men with a history of heart disease or stroke also have low testosterone levels, also known as hypogonadism. Symptoms of low testosterone hypogonadism include decreased sexual desire, fatigue, depressed mood, and loss of body hair. If you've had a heart attack or stroke in the past and experienced the symptoms of low testosterone hypogonadism, please consider our research study that is underway in Southern California. Qualified participants may receive testosterone replacement therapy or placebo and study related care at no cost, as well as compensation for their time. Locations throughout Los Angeles, Orange, Ventura, and San Bernardino counties. Please call now to speak with the research study coordinator. Dial 818-646-2800. The number again is 818-646-2800. That's 818-646-2800. Win your way to our 2021 iHeartRadio Music Festival, September 17th and 18th in Las Vegas. And win $1,000. You'll see Billie Eilish, Cheap Trick, Coldplay, Dua Lipa, Florida Georgia Line, J. Cole, Journey, Khalid, Lil Baby, Maroon 5, Nelly, Sam Hunt, Weezer, special guest performance by Phineas, and more on the T-Mobile Arena stage in Las Vegas. Listen every weekday to win your way there and win $1,000. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. KFI AM 640. An iHeart radio station. 24-hour news. More stimulating talk. Even though that music cues what we are going to talk about, it is my duty to you to play this. Good morning. Good morning. Olympic spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Jim Ryan, good morning to you. Is this the last day I'm going to get to play that? It's hard to believe. Yes, yes it is. That guy still sounds like butthead to me. You really <laughs> does. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. He's totally dead. Every si- ever since you said that, that's all I hear every time I hear that thing. <laughs> so, Jim, I can't believe Boy. it. It's been two weeks. I know. I know. Just over two weeks. Uh, Allison Felix can't believe it. She just won the women's 400 meter. She won, a, she, won, she won a bronze medal 
He didn't win the gold, but she won a bronze medal. She passed the Jamaican sprinter Malina Adi to become the most decorated female Olympian in track and field history. She's 35 years old, Jen. Okay, that that makes me sad because uh, you know I'm not a whole lot older than her, and look at her! Oh my gosh! Yeah, well, that's amazing. I mean, she is uh, just an uh, amazing thing. Anyway, so yeah, they just ran the women's 400. Uh, she came in. They thought she's not disappointed of winning well, yes, yes. a bronze medal at 35 years old. Unbelievable. Are you kidding? She needs to go and, like, I don't know, buy a lottery ticket, whatever. That's amazing. All right, now, also, when it comes to running, we had the 5,000-meter final for the men, and I think yeah. we got a bronze there as well? Paul Chilino, yeah, he won the bronze. He trains, lives out in Colorado Springs, and, yeah, he brings home the bronze medal in uh, the 5,000-meter. We still have a lot of track and field to go for the next couple of days, and that could have Team USA surpassing China in the gold medal count. Now, right now, Team USA is, you know, Jen is still leading in the overall medals, 97 to China's 78, but the Chinese still lead uh, Team USA by four. They have 35 gold medals. The uh -huh. United States has 31. Okay, let's talk gold. And speaking of that, when you said Alex earlier, I thought you meant maybe Alex Kleinman of Manhattan Beach in April or off of Costa Mesa, two SoCal ladies who just won a gold medal. Yeah, they beat us.